Wondering what to do with an old magazine? We are going to make a recycled magazine paper bowl. All you need are a few simple things. Some scotch tape, a paintbrush Mod Podge, or Elmer's glue, or acrylic medium, and an old magazine. You can use pretty much any magazine that you want, but you don't want to use the really fancy ones with really thick pages, and you don't want to use the front cover because that's a pretty thick page also. You can just open up to a page in your magazine and find one that's really nice and colorful. This one is really nice and colorful over here, and you are just going to tear it carefully right along the edge so you have the entire sheet of paper. And then, choosing the side that's most colorful, you're going to flip that over, and then you're going to start folding it. You're gonna take the very, very tip of your magazine, and you are going to make one fold, and then using your nails, really crease it so you have a nice, tight, flat fold. And you're gonna fold it over again, each time you're folding it over itself and you're trying to make it the same width. Using your nails again to flatten it out, really important. And you're just gonna go all the way until you get all the way across the page, always making sure to use your nails or something that's going to give you a nice, tight, flat edge. When you get to the very edge, you're gonna take a piece of tape, a small piece of tape. All you need to do is fold that corner in and make sure that that is taped down, okay? And you're going to continue doing that. And you really want anywhere from 10 to 30 strips, just like this. And they should fairly be the same width and length. Once you have all your strips, you're going to choose one you're going to go to the end and you're going to start folding it over itself just like you did. Nice, tight creases and you're just going to keep folding it and folding it until you get all the way to the end. This is going to be the base of your bowl. unravels like it just did make sure you start all the way over again because you don't want it to unravel oh, it just happened again do not fret it happens to the best of us see what it's making almost like a snail When you get to the end right here, you're going to take another one of your strips and if you can tuck it inside, one inside the other, that would be great. If not, you just overlap one over the other and using your tape again, what I like to do is put tape on one side, grab the other side, lay it down and then tape the two together. and then you're just going to keep wrapping. If you let go, it will unravel. So just make sure you're keeping it nice and tight and wound up. I'm down to my last strip. I can always change my mind later if I wanna make it a little bit bigger. get to the end I am going to take this one right here and now you have your flat disc of 20 sheets of magazine paper now what you want to do is gently very very gently begin to push down on the bottom that is going to create the bottom of your bowl gently if you push too hard 
the whole thing will unravel. And if it does, it's okay. You can just roll it up again. But as you gently bring it up, you're going to see that it starts to create this beautiful bowl. There you go, you have your bowl. This is 20 sheets. You can definitely make a bigger bowl and a wider bowl. The bottom all depends on how much you push through. You definitely want to seal your magazine bowl so it holds together. I like to use something that will dry clear like Mod Podge, Elmer's glue or acrylic gloss because you can still see the beautiful patterns and the colors from the magazine. I like to start by brushing on the inside of the bowl, giving it a really nice thick coat. It's okay if it gets into the crevices. You want everything to make sure that it is glued together and secure. Allow it to dry before you flip it over and do the bottom. This really only needs one nice thick coat for it to be nice and glossy and secure. So many ways to make this little adorable bowl useful. What will you use your bowl for?